Today we're playing Terraria, but the enemies steal everything from me when I get hit. And when I say everything, I'm not talking about a medium core type of effect. I mean, my max life, my max mana, our currently held item or weapon, a random buff, and even the gold from our piggy bank. Um, so this, this is one of the most difficult challenges I've done to date. But uh, yeah, let's just get straight into it. Because of all this, it's very important that we play as safe as possible throughout the game. So, this means no hard mode or mining. Definitely not going to be doing that when uh, 20 health is our base for most of this. <laughs> um, so, what we want to do is actually just fish. So, I spent a couple hours just straight up fishing. We did the flower boot flare gun trick because, of course, is 1.3 modded. And yeah, we were good to go. So, after that, we got titanium armor. Now, unfortunately, the immunity set bonus you get from this, again, still 1.3. Doesn't save us from these effects, but it's still kind of handy. You know, it's good defense and good damage. Um, so after getting the Sky Fracture, Prime decided to pay us a visit. Now at this point, I hadn't gathered nearly enough life crystals for this fight, so I decided to play it safe, not risk any of them, because if we die, they're all gone, right? Um, and this means we're going into this fight with 20 health and mage gear, which effectively means a no hit is required to do this fight. If we can, if we can take out the... Uh laser then we actually have a chance but I don't see that happening I really don't see that happening <laughs> and even then it's, it's literally just a no hit oh my god dude <laughs> I can't I actually can't I just can't I can't I can't I can't I can't I can't stop stop it stop stop this stop this madness I don't know. I've, apparently, I'm hitting it. <laughs> I'm just shooting in the general direction and hoping for the best. Oh, I hate this. I hate this so much. I hate this so much. Wait, where's the late? Wait, the laser. The laser's not here. I forgot to buff too. The laser's gone. I think it despawned. <laughs> wait, wait. Don't throw. Don't throw. Don't throw. Don't throw. I can do this. I can do this. I can, I can actually do this now. If I don't mess up. So. If I really don't mess up, I can do this, I can do this. Now, somehow, we ended up surviving quite a long time, but since we had so little mana crystals going into this fight, we had permanent mana sickness, which significantly lowered our DPS. And while we were doing fairly well, I inevitably made a mistake. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh. That was just unlucky. That was just unlucky. I couldn't drop. <laughs> that was just unlucky. That's, that's okay. That's okay. Whatever. Whatever, boys. We tried. Now, while that was sort of tragic, <laughs> uh, we didn't really lose anything, and we basically just got some information. We didn't have to use a summon. It was actually kind of good. Um, so, at this point, I knew that with some extra mana and some more life, we could easily take this thing down. So, after getting more life crystals and collecting what little fallen stars I could before dying to the onslaught of harpies and wyverns, we were ready for round two. Got our calming potions. Everything's ready. All right, laser. Okay, laser. We're at 360 health with everything. When it's all said and done, 360 health. I'm gonna try and aim for the laser because that thing's the most annoying thing to dodge and very scary to me. <laughs> very, very scary. Oh shit, that counts. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, did it take away your life force? Or did it just take away a bunch of life? Because weren't we at 360? Maybe it took away both 40 plus life force. Oh, damn it. Okay. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Alright, now we can worry. Now... <laughs> We're down to 200! Bro. Oh, I need to do this. I actually need to do this. I spent so many life crystals on this. Okay, now it's scary. Now it's scary. Now it's scary. Okay, just look for where the lasers are coming from. That's where we gotta shoot. Oof. Oof. What if we run out of time, too? <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, this is good. That's a lot of damage on him. Just don't have a despawn, though. Don't, de don't despawn. Don't despawn. Don't despawn. Okay, I need to get back over there. I don't want this tree in the way. Why are you right here? <laughs> Leave me alone, dude. Okay. 
Laser is gone. But so is our weapon. <laughs> and a bunch of health. <laughs> no, not again! We're down to 120! Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Don't throw, don't throw. Let's rebuff. We lost a bunch of buffs there, but it's all good. Now, a very important mechanic to note here in this mod is that we have the ability to reclaim the life that is stolen from us if we successfully beat the boss. Now, this does not work for enemies, um, just bosses. If we can manage to defeat the boss, anything it stole from us will be returned in the form of life crystals, which is very important because there's a finite amount of life crystals available to us on our small world, and we use the majority of them up in pre iron mode, so you have to be extremely cautious during the fights because if we lose too much, it could easily cost us the run. Okay. Nice. And with that, we have our first mech boss defeated, so now we can go ahead and buy the tier two weapons and armor from the Tavern Keep. I grinded the event just before Prime, so that we could have enough metal to do this without going to the harder version of the event right away. Now, this usually isn't something I would do, but for this challenge specifically, it's going to be very important. Because sentries and multiple weapons are just really going to be good. Because as you saw in that last Prime fight, while our weapon was taken away from us, we couldn't really do anything. And we have to risk getting hit more to try and retrieve it again. So it's really bad and it can really just snowball and it's terrible. So having these sentries can at least keep up the DPS and I don't have to really rush to get my weapon back, even though I still kind of do that anyways, but at least we're getting some extra damage in while we do so. So before heading into the twins fight, I decided to make an automated fallen star farm with some conveyor belts. Um, obviously now that would be the mech boss, so we can get steampunkers so we can do this. This is gonna be really helpful. Um, yeah, having mana is super important when we're going like a mage summon hybrid, obviously, and when everything's stealing it from us. So this is huge, definitely going to be a huge help throughout the whole game. Okay, uh, let's give this a go, shall we? Oh, on this side? Oh, that's terrible. Okay. <laughs> that's not what I wanted to uh, happen, but that's all good. Shit, it's going to be hard. <laughs> oh, wait, did our weapon not drop? I feel like it should have. Maybe I didn't check the box on that. <laughs> Damn it! Now, unfortunately, early on, we were having some difficulties with the mod, so our weapon wasn't dropping correctly during this fight. Uh, but don't worry, uh, everything will be fixed for the upcoming bosses, and a quite a few of which are going to be much more difficult than this one. Weirdly enough, though, one of said bosses is Destroyer, which is up next. Oh, that was kind of close. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to do these for the extra range, because I think that's going to be helpful. And I mainly just want to deal with probes, because Nimbus Rod and my weapons should be able to damage it enough. Um, to where it shouldn't really matter, but I'll place these down just in case for whatever reason. I need to reset those. We got our buffs. And... Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, let's change it. Buff up. Alright, here we go. Here we go, dude. Oh, I think this is like the perfect platform height. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, this thing's gonna get destroyed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, destroyer, but this is uh. This <laughs> Ow. Okay. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There's so many lasers. <laughs> Holy shit. Yo, it's gotta chill. It's gotta chill. My weapons. My my weapons. No. <laughs> oh, it's it's okay. This is bad. This is bad. All right. This is now summoning. This is now summoning. Oh, no. Okay, very bad, very bad, very bad. Very bad. Okay, I think I think, uh, I think, think it's over, guys. I think it's over. I think we lost this one. <laughs> I'm just being honest. I don't think we have this. <laughs> Holy shit, that was insane. That was insane. Okay, 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 okay. Um... <laughs> Oh my god, I didn't think there would be so many. I should have... Okay, alright. Uh, well, this is very bad, chat. Uh, and the reason why this is very bad is we use 14. We use 14 life crystals on that. And those are just gone. <laughs> I think. Uh, I guess I didn't get too much makes it worse. Yeah, it's it, we need to go more gradual. 
Oh my god, that was crazy. Okay, okay. Uh, let's get our items back that they robbed from us. Um, okay, this is bad. What? Now what? <laughs> now what? <laughs> So I tried it again without any extra life and with a different strategy of just running away, but that didn't work either. So after exhausting all other options, I had no choice but to turn to the forbidden magic, okay? This only spell strong enough to take down this mechanical beast. I of course speak of none other than the Tome of Infinite Wisdom. And while it's not quite as potent as it is in 1.4, it should be plenty enough to take this thing down. Okay, let's try it. Let's hope we don't die immediately. That's the goal. Just don't Don't die immediately and we should be good. Oh my god. There's just so many that I got to worry about We're destroying it, but there's so many probes Oh god Die please die please die please die please die please die please die come on very easy very easy you just gotta Just gotta die just gotta die Come on, Tome of Infinite Cheese. Show me what you got. Yes, okay, we got it, we got it. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. That's all we had to do. Nothing nothing too crazy. Just Tome of, Tome of Infinite Cheese, even the, the nerfed form, we're good. We're chilling. We're chilling, okay? <laughs> and so with all the mech bosses defeated, we arrive at Planterra. This is by far the most painful part of the video. Um, <laughs> so get ready, get ready. Um, so basically what we did is I quickly built a pretty unique arena and um, I wanted to test it without life crystals to see if it would work. Okay, let's put it at the top here. Um, let's set those up. And I'm hoping that's enough to circle with. All right, screw it, let's just go. Oh, I was about to say don't spawn above me. Okay, it's fine. Oh, that almost hit me. <laughs> Yo, the damage right now, though? The damage right now, though, chat? Okay, now we go, now we go. Shit. <laughs> That's doable, though. That's doable. That's actually doable. You guys see how much damage we did there? Oh my god. So, I tried it a few more times, and it turns out it is, in fact, not doable. Um, <laughs> I think the dimensions were a little different than what I used way back, um, but the idea was to circle around Plantera at the start, like you normally do, and then go around the box once the second phase happens, but it didn't quite work like it used to, so I decided to scrap that idea and destroy it. Now, before we get back to Plantera, um, I want to elaborate on this reclaimed life mechanic that I mentioned earlier. Since the boss always returns your health in the form of life crystals at the end of the fight, we can actually turn life root into life crystals. Of course, in order to even do this, we do need to be at full life. Um, so, because otherwise we can't use life root, but uh, we needed to mine <laughs> to do that. <laughs> so after about an hour of searching, I managed to retrieve enough hearts to pull this trick off. And I initially wasn't sure if I should abuse this mechanic, but we decided that it would be more interesting this way, because otherwise, you know, if we run out of life, it would just turn into a no hit run. And we wouldn't really be able to see the other mechanics, so I figured this was uh, this would be more enjoyable to play and also watch. So I'm going to quickly explain how this works. Um, it's probably going to sound more complicated than it is, but the first step is obviously to reach max health, use all your life fruit. Then you summon a boss that's pretty easy to deal with, like King Slime, and let it hit you. So intentionally let it hit you like three or so times to the point where you don't have any life fruit left. And then finally you just kill the boss. And of course we're rewarded life crystals. And by doing this, we can turn 20 life fruit, which is of course a renewable resource, into five life crystals, which is not renewable. So this is huge. This is really, really crucial. You can repeat this process as much as you want. And with a solid AFK farm, you can get quite a few life crystals. Now, of course, once you're done, just let King Slime hit you down to 40 life and you have all those life crystals safe in your storage. Very easy. Um, now you just have to be careful that you don't die during the step because you will lose everything. Um, but I mean, it's it's 80 life fruit worth of life crystals we're talking about here and you'd have to die to King Slime. So, I mean, you'd have to be pretty dumb to mess this part up. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I got... Oh, I dropped my slime crown. Uh-oh. <laughs> um, okay, that's what I needed not to happen. That's, that's what I... That's, okay. 
Uh, okay, this is bad. This is really bad. This is like, this is really bad. Uh, we went from 130 life fruit to 40. So we, we spent like, what, 90 life fruit and for nothing, we lost it all. Uh, so yeah, it's really bad. <laughs> but with their, with 30 there, we got to 29. Um, so there's that. Actually, we only technically use 20 of those. We still have 11 left. Because I'm not sure if I should use more life fruit to get a few more life crystals. Probably, because we can't get the full life fruit anyways. Um, but I also don't want to risk it again. So let me just put these away, and we need to reevaluate what we wanted to. <laughs> we really do need to reevaluate this. Now, here's the issue. Uh, if you don't have enough life crystals to get back to 400 life, you can't use this exploit and life for life fruits just useless um now i had to afk farm for several days to get enough life fruit in order to risk an attempt with full life on plantera and still be safe uh, <laughs> but after that mishap we can't really do that anymore so i decided to just go into another plantera attempt with the new arena and see how we did with just 20 health okay oh this is probably a bad idea going in here Probably bad. Oh my. Okay. Okay. Back up. Oh, also bad idea, but. Okay. I don't want to talk about it. I. I don't want to talk about it. I I really don't. Don't even. Actually, I do want to talk about that. I <laughs> I was I was like, okay, wait. Should I run on Discord here, or is it just gonna die? And my brain was stuck in between. So I was like, I finally was like, okay, I should probably run on Discord here, right? So what I do is I stop attacking, even though I forget I don't have to stop attacking with this. <laughs> And I uh, don't focus on the tentacles, but we that was really close. We don't even need to use life on this thing We probably should We probably should chat should we just we, we got this we got this dude We literally have this so at this point. I'm feeling pretty good. We almost defeated plant tower without getting it once It was very very weak. I mean, it's pretty risky, but there's literally no way we could fail with full life right Okay, this is where it gets bad. It's gonna follow us, but we can sneak by like this and everything's fine. <gasps> oh. Good God. Get out, get out. This is bad. This is officially bad, chat. Oh. Okay. No, 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 <laughs> no. It's over. It's actually over. It's actually over. It's actually over. Wow. I just, I, I, my weapon was gone. I panicked. <sighs> well. Well, <laughs> this is now a no it playthrough, boys. Let's go. That's what everyone wanted to see, boys. That's what we all wanted to see. <laughs> 20. Wait, we still have life. Saved. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. We're chilling. Oh, shit. We're chilling. We're chilling, boys. We're actually chilling, right? Hold on. Let me let's let's recheck the math. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Plus. Oh, wait. Fourteen. That's twenty. <laughs> Just kidding, boys. Just kidding. Uh, that being said, I'm no longer ever using life crystals on Plantera. We're gonna wait till we know hit that. Uh. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, that was so lucky. We are so unbelievably lucky. 
I can't believe I failed that though. That's not, that's sad. That's very sad, but as long as I don't mess this up, right? Oh, I gotta get my weapons before they all disappear. Okay, let's see, let's see that the battle. So we lost the Tome of Infinite Wisdom, which was huge. When we lost that, it was kind of over. But we picked up our, oh, ow, no. Get me out, get me out, get me out, get me out. I forgot, okay, shit. All right, that was almost really bad. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, math, oh, boys, oh, oh, it's over, now it's over, now it's over, that's 19, no, no, it's over, boys, it's over, it's over, look, 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 wait, no, yeah, no, it's over, right, now, that was a throw, that was a throw, uh, <laughs> we'll be able to find one more. It's fine. I forgot. I forgot. That completely slipped my mind. I was like, okay, before we do the King Slime fights, let's get... Let's get back our weapons so we can kill this thing. Which is fair. I needed to do that, but I should have stopped once I got one. That was kind of dumb. Okay, there's a dude down there, but that's just... It's probably going to mess this up. I hope my summons can go down there and deal with that guy, because if not... It's gonna snipe me when we're about to kill it, and it's not gonna be fun, but I think it's died now. All right, so real quick, I just wanna mention something uh, that I forgot to earlier, and that is the fact that the Rod of Discord is really good here because it takes a, a percentage of your health and not a set amount. This means we can still use it several times before dying, even though our health is so low. Um, I just wanted to clarify that because I figured a few people would wanna would be wondering what's going on with that, and I myself was also under the impression that it was a set value. But uh, anyways, back to the fight. I just make sure I have eyes on the tentacles at all times, because I think that's the important part. It's okay if I have to stop damaging for a little bit. Uh oh, we gotta go back. <laughs> He's still alive! Oh, if he kills me, I'm gonna be so mad. Okay. I see, I see the win. I see the dub. Oh, no! <laughs> Oh my god, we got it. We actually got it, dude. There were so many close calls there. Next up, of course, is Gollum. And you would think that the temple would be pretty painful, but it actually wasn't too bad with all of our sentries and summons. Um, now, we're going to be doing this above ground because doing this boss fight in the temple wouldn't be very fun. And after seeing how long it took to kill Plantera, I wasn't trying to go through a similar process with Gollum. So I wanted to play it safe, prepare as much as possible. Um, and of course, since we've beaten Plantera now, we can actually, we have access to Ectoplasm, which means Spectre Armor and Razor Pine for Mage, which is really, really good. Um, so I went ahead and obtained both of those both before the fight. So after AFK farming for a few more days, we were now ready to give Gollum an attempt. Now if we lose with an extra like two hits, oh my god, there's no way. Actually no way we lose this. If, if I lose this, the only way I can lose this is if I was throwing for content, all right? So that's what we're gonna stay behind. If somehow I lose, it's because it was intentional, okay? All part of the plan if I lose this. Okay, guys? <laughs> that's uh that's that's what that's what it is. Let's go. Gollum's gonna get absolutely washed, dude. <laughs> Ow, okay, I wasn't I wasn't paying attention. I was not paying attention. And our weapon's gone. Alright, we gotta lure we gotta lure Gollum over. It's okay though. It's all good. We also, if he despawns, that's kind of bad because we got to get another summon and we lose that health. <laughs> okay, so that one's done. Uh, okay, this is where it gets annoying because we got, we need his weapon, but I can't... If I drop through the platform, I think he drops with me and he won't be able to get back up. So then we abandon that whole idea of doing the fight that way. But I think I can grab it now. There we go. Okay, we're back. We're back, boys. <laughs> that's kind of bad, though. I shouldn't have been hit so early there that's very bad actually and sad i should really have used the ballista because those projectiles are confusing me <laughs> the flame burst ones oh this thing's getting destroyed dude goodbye golem is there a floating island up there 
Nice. Okay. Uh, we actually have an. Okay, we have a we have a problem here. I should have let it hit me. Because now we have now we have life fruit. Uh oh. Uh. Okay. I thought I would get hit more than that. Pay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold <laughs> on. We need to we need to handle this. <laughs> okay. See now all we have to do is get hit once, like a single time. And we're safe. And then we've com successfully converted that all back into safekeeping. Okay. By now, a few of you may be wondering how I managed to get reforges on everything if the enemies can steal so much platinum from me. Uh, fun fact, they can steal up to 10 um, <laughs> platinum. So yeah, that's fun. Uh, but the answer to that is what I like to call a salt stream. But using the quality of life mods that we have installed, we gain the perfect circumstances to be able to do this. It utilizes the faster extractination rate from Fargo's Eden mod and the Architect NPC from the Alchemist NPC mod. So all you have to do is buy a full stack of silt from the Architect for one silver per block, which turns out to be worth one platinum that you have to buy for. From there, you just have to extract everything and sell the produce to make a profit. Now, you usually make quite a bit back, um, quite a lot on that investment. You'll do at least double it. That's if it's pretty bad luck. And depending on the RNG, you could go like five times, six times usually, um, which is a lot. But again, they can see up to 10 platinum. So this isn't like that game breaking or anything. So I don't, I don't see any problem with it. It takes a while, but it's a safe way to make a large amount of gold. And it also gives me a bunch of time to interact with Twitch chat. Um, by the way, link in the description. You should totally check it out after this video. All right, with that out of the way, let's uh, do do fish run. And I will use this. Okay, drop one of those down. Oh shit. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Why do I feel so slow right now? What? Okay, there we go. I think it was just my movement was trash for a while there. Okay, come on. I, I need this W. I need this W. I really need it and want it. Okay, it should transform. Like, right now, dude. Oh, we're doing no damage. I need a lot more damage than that. Come on, Razor Pine. And we are doing good, but... Okay. Good. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, get on this side. Good. Oh, I. I need my weapon. I need my weapon. <laughs> Alright, we got it. We got it. Okay. Kind of sketch. We got to get back before we lose all of our health, but we did it. We did it. Okay. Whew. Nice, dude. We did it. Okay. There's our life back. We're feeling good. We're feeling great. Let's go Razor Pine. So before fighting the cultists, I decided to go for some fish run wigs. Now we are able to actually avoid having to fight fish run again um, because of our quality of life mods. That being said, uh, to do this, we need to complete the Martian Madness event. And that requires 200 life to spawn in. This meant waiting for a probe, using nine life crystals and spawning the event, then returning to the surface, and finally safely converting our health to life crystals again before dealing with the evasion. All without getting hit once from random enemies, because then we lose life. Uh, it was a big ordeal, very painful as per usual, so we're gonna skip most of that and head straight to Cultist. There we go. It's admittedly not that much damage, but that's okay. Good. Lightning's really good. Very easy to dodge. Very easy to dodge. Incredibly easy. Oh. Okay. That hurts a little bit. That's okay. We'll pick up our weapon in a bit. Ow. Okay. That one hurts too. <laughs> We're throwing. We're throwing. It's all good though. We got plenty of health to work with. It's actually better if we uh, get it one more time, to be honest. Because then we can convert this life root back. I might purposely take a hit from something. Like the next fireball. There we go. There we go. Okay, so that's all converted. Now we picked up all that. Let's go back. 
with cultists out of the way we just had to convert our life back to crystals once again before we start the pillars um and while this challenge is difficult probably the most difficult one i've done to date or one of for sure uh the pillars weren't actually as bad as some of the ones i've done before namely sand gun playthrough and like the first rng series that i did uh those two are much worse because the weapons were bad but since we have access to good weapons as long as we can survive for a little bit of time, it's not too bad. And they went fairly quickly. I think about an hour. It went fairly quickly. Now, to prepare for this fight, I FK farmed for as long as I could between streams and obtained 239 life fruit and 51 life crystals. These are part of which is from like some streams back. And then, yeah, just every single chance I got AFK farming, you know, overnight, all of that for life fruit. So, looking at all that, we should have enough life for quite a few attempts here. As you can see, I've prepared three Nebula Blazes for this fight, so that if I get hit once or twice, we will still have the same weapon handy. This is much more crucial during this fight, because ideally we don't want to be doubling back. So the fight's pretty linear, we want to run away for most of it, just especially when the True Eyes activate, because that's when things get bad. But you can sort of outrun them with Moonlord. Moonlord will keep up with you, the True Eyes will be way back there, because they have to pause to do their attacks. So that's kind of the goal, um, but yeah, well, let's just get straight into it. Oh, I'm so nervous, dude. I'm so nervous, even though it's probably fine, but I'm just so... <laughs> Look at that damage. We're fine. We're chilling. We're chilling. Oh, yeah, we're doing some good damage. This should be one of the easier Moonlord fights we will we'll ever do. That scared me for a bit there. Okay, that was misplay, but that's okay. We just brought Discord out of there. It's all good. We're chilling. I'm very worried about that laser actually now. <laughs> I know I said it'd be easy to avoid, but like the way you've been doing this. Okay, there goes one of them. It's okay. It's all good. We'll pick it back up. All right, that was bad. Oh, this is not looking good, boys. <laughs> Okay, I need to stay close, but that I'm gonna have to get rid of that conveyor belt, chat. I'm gonna have to do it. Yikes. Okay. I don't know where all my weapons have dropped. <laughs> no! Oh, this is actually so hard, dude. Holy shit. Oh my god, this is actually so hard. I need to get rid of that. Okay, we have to get rid of that conveyor belt. It is actually screwing me over. So it turns out the lasers <laughs> are kind of hard to avoid, um, which means that three gauntlets wasn't quite gonna do it for us. Um, we had to double back and we failed, so yeah. <laughs> uh, but before the next attempt, I got rid of the conveyor belt and lowered our platforms so that we wouldn't reach space during the fight. This is really big. Uh, that was that was hurting um, our movement a lot. Both the conveyor belt restricting us and space. We're floaty, you know, low gravity, not fun. <laughs> I also ended up crafting a bunch of nebula blazes uh, from the pillar summon that Fargo's has. It makes doing the pillars again much more easier. It takes uh, it still takes a while, but not nearly as long as it usually would, since the shield's already down. And uh, with that all out of the way, we're ready for one last attempt. Um. Alrighty, chat. Let's do this. Also, might need mana relatively soon as well. It's kind of an annoying because <laughs> I got rid of our conveyor belt. So hopefully we get this. At the end of the day, we just got to not lose here. It's easy enough. Easy enough, boys. I think we got this. You know what? The more I think about this, I think I think we actually just destroy this thing. Here we go, boys. Look at all that. I went right into that. That's okay, though. No one cares if I went right into that. We're still doing this. <laughs> I'm gonna go over. I don't know why. It's just more comfortable to go over for me. When did I... Did I throw the weapon? Or... I don't think we got hit again. We must have. Somewhere in there. Okay, the eyes up again. Oof. That's bad. Okay, I don't like our position here. 
Bro, these lasers are absolutely ruining my day. Okay, just remember vert vertical, vertical, vertical. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, I didn't get rid of that. Ow. Uh oh, we're almost out of weapons. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm gonna rebuff. Okay, we picked one up. That's good. I was lucky. Because those weren't staggered at all. I'm gonna do more of this. Okay. I don't know if we're hitting anything. I feel like we're not. <laughs> Is it just the top? I left? It must be. Oh, no. That was terrible. I just like dash into that. <laughs> no. Shit. Please die. Yes. And we got another one. Okay, this is doable. Doable, boys. Doable. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Okay, that's really bad now. Grab that. <sighs> okay. Fine, just don't get too far away from it. Oh, I missed that one, but that's okay. We, should, we still have one more. Okay. It's, we're playing the long game here. This should be okay. I'm getting that back. Oh, that was kind of lucky, but kind of not. <laughs> I can't tell if any of these are hitting. They kind of are. I'm not sure what those lasers are going to do if I get it by them again. But I'm just going to try and keep on doing this. And we can't run out of potions, either. Jesus. I might get one hit by it. Oh, it's in the world. Okay, we did. Okay. God, I hate this. <laughs> oh, why did I do this to myself? But we did it. We, we're done. I'm done with this. I don't have to do it ever again. So, you know what? It's fine. <laughs> it's done. My, my pain is over. My suffering is done. We did it, boys. We did it. And that concludes this crazy challenge. This was easily one of the hardest challenges I've done so far, and it took a very long time to make. So if you did end up enjoying the video, I'd appreciate it if you considered subscribing to the channel. Um, I have a ton more challenges here. We do pretty much all things Terraria. So if you're interested in that, then uh, yeah, feel free to uh, check it out. And with that all being said, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.